kids, there's some things on the Bible that, look, I don't all completely agree with it, okay? Because there's a lot of stuff in there that is meant to manipulate a lot of people, okay? So, this is what I will tell you, my opinion on the Bible, okay, as Yeshua. So, understand that, um, like I said, um, and this is the same, like I said, this is just what I believed, okay? Because um, my feminine, she went to church her whole life, okay? This feminine, the feminine counterpart of me. And so what I've understood from this is that um, you could see the Bible as it's actually kind of teaching you life lessons. It's teaching you a lot of values and certain things to learn from. So for instance, um, the forbidden fruit, that's actually a really good story about life, right? Where we could make choices and it's to either do good or to do bad. Okay, we either take from the forbidden fruit or we think about it first. Okay, so how do we apply this to a real life situation? Well, yeah, I mean, it's basically the same thing, right? You get the choice where, for instance, let's say that you are a celebrity, okay? And somebody says you are you you're, you want to be a top famous celebrity, right? Let's say um, you want to be a singer, right? Well, in the industries, this exists, okay? This is real stuff. They're going to say, all right, I'm going to offer you this amazing contract, all this amazing stuff. Or if it's not contract, I'm going to offer you this million dollars to sing a song for me, okay? And so, you look at it, and it... It looks so good, and but the thing is, is that you know that there are bad things in the Hollywood industry. You know that if you sign that contract, you're going to likely be a part of some weird-ass rituals and probably have to maybe do a child sacrifice or whatever weird shit that they do, okay? So you know, this is what a lot of celebrities, is that they know that it's bad. They know that that contract or whatever it is, is too good to be true. Okay, they know it's this forbidden fruit, okay? The forbidden fruit is telling you, hey, baby, I got a million dollars. Like, you could come sing for me for a million dollars. I'll do all of this for you. This is what this manager's saying to you, right? You're a Hollywood celebrity, and you're taking a look at him at this, at this, this, um, this music offer. And they're saying, yeah, it looks good. Don't you? Why don't you take it? And so... You, as a celebrity, uh, you know, a rising pop star, whatever you are, you have to think, should you eat from that forbidden fruit? Or should you be independent and trust your higher self to guide you? Okay, and so remember how, we, how it, the Bible talks about the Garden of Eden. That is heaven. Okay, that is heaven on earth. That is a symbol of heaven on earth. And so... Heaven on earth is the Garden of Eden. It's a beautiful place, right? And so why do you think Eve's motherfucker, you know, her her ass got kicked out? Is because God said, hey, baby, I'll let you live here. You do what you want. But just know that if you eat off the forbidden fruit, you got to get out. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to go, baby. You got to gotta leave. And so, you know, she did it anyways. And she got kicked out. And then where the hell did she get kicked out? I'm trying to remember where she got kicked out. What was it? To the deserts? Some desolate land. To be human. To be normal. That's what we're talking about. We, you know, when we make poor decisions, we end up in a poor, desolate land. So basically, what that whole um, scripture was talking about is that if you do bad, Understand that it always comes back to you. Okay, so understand that there's so many meanings, so many te so many things in the Bible that can actually teach you, that can teach you life lessons. So yeah, we obviously know kids that Eve got her sexy ass kicked out because she was being dumb. You you're like, come on, come on, woman. You know, you knew that it the the fruit was forbidden. You knew that marrying another man and going out, I'm just making an example. You know what I mean, like. I'm just saying is that you know better is what the what that Bible scripture was saying 
And so basically with the forbidden fruit is it's a symbol of life lessons. It's a symbol on how, you know, there's going to be temptations along the way. And those temptations, they also come with you doing bad things. Okay, like Doja Cat. She could have worked her way up to be a famous celebrity. She, she was already talented doing good. But she gave into the contract. She gave into that contract of where at it, whatever it is. Okay? And so now, she's being a part of some, some rituals. See, a lot of these people, some people say celebrities, they, feel they are slaves. And some can be. They could be. They are enslaved. A lot of them, I'll be honest with you. They don't really have a choice. Some of them... Like there, it's it's kind of weird. We'll we'll get into that later, kids. But some people, like Doja Cat, she does have a choice, because um, some people they're not really signed under contract. She's just getting money deals. You know, it's it's weird of how it works in Hollywood, kids. But anyways, see what she did is that she knew that it was a forbidden fruit. She knew that everybody else in Hollywood was doing the same thing, okay, eating from the forbidden fruit. And so she didn't think once but to just eat from it. Knowing that, you know, she probably likely out of that forbidden fruit, you got to go fucking sacrifice kids and all this other weird shit. So understand, just like Eve's story, some outcomes got to come. Okay, some bad karma has got to come to you for eating that fucking fruit. So yeah, and so she got her ass kicked out of the garden because God was like, you know, I'll skedaddle to another deserted land. And then you could have like all this mind your business elsewhere because I don't want you here on heaven on earth. I don't want you in the Garden of Eden. You know what I mean? And then, you know, Adam could chill. But then that's just a whole different story. Maybe we could find something on Adam, but no. All I'm saying is, kids, is that the Bible is teaching us lessons in life. That's the way I see it is um, it's a good teacher.